and Neil Sean here in 10 Downing Street in the very heart of London. Now I wanted to share this particular information with you because as we all know this is a very big political year. No two ways about it wherever you are in the world I'm sure every single government every single leading figure is looking for your cross in the box. Absolutely. And over here in the United Kingdom, we have an impending general election. And it's not really much to choose from, let's be brutally frank. We have really two parties that simply are at war every two minutes. And it's interesting that a, I found this fascinating, in fact. An American said to me about the PMQs, that's Prime Minister's Question Time. What is it exactly? Is it meant to be comedy? And really, they had the nail on the head, didn't they? What is it really about, apart from mudslinging across a crowded room? But what's interesting coming up here in the very heart of London next month is literally the mayoral election. That is the mayoral election that's incredibly important in 2024. The particular current mayor of London, Sadiq Khan, has already been in for two terms and apparently is threatening to stay for at least 24 years. How unlucky some might suggest could you be? But here's where it gets incredibly tricky. You see, for the very first time, you're going to have to prove with photo ID about your voting and this is vital I think in the 21st century I don't know about you but in the digital platforms that we all live in really you should be able to prove your ID and let's be honest how many times now do we have to prove that whether that be with a supermarket discount card or indeed simply trying to get an appointment at your local doctors time and time again they want proof that it is you now where it gets interesting is this photo ID apparently will be mandatory, you can't get out of it. If you don't bring the photo ID then you simply can't vote. But the bigger issue that I've learned is this, let me explain. Where it becomes complicated is, for instance, if you're wearing one of these, a burqa, well will they be asking you to remove that? Apparently not. And as ever, we have to say, allegedly. This is because it could be an infringement of privacy, human rights, all of that usual claptrap, you know? Now, what I would say to you is this, that when you go into a bank over here in the United Kingdom and say you've got a motorcycle helmet on, you have to take that off from the moment you get into the bank. You're not allowed to go to the counter with it on for obvious reasons. So how is this any different? Now, as one can imagine, the current mayor of London, Sadiq Khan, doesn't like the idea of photo ID at all. Oh no, not keen on that particular aspect, and for all the obvious reasons. So I would ask you, do you agree with the fact that if these people do vote in less than a month's time, they won't be asked to prove their facial recognition? I mean, we have to, so why can't they? And it's interesting, isn't it, how this will suddenly turn into a massive debate, fall out and no doubt have police presence, costing lots more money, and in the vain hope, of course, eventually, that this idea will be scrapped. Either way, as I say, you really do need to get out there and support whatever candidate you've decided you'd like to become the Mayor of London. Crime is rife, shoplifting is rife, it's lawlessness on the streets, and as many people know, I've had my second phone stolen within a month. That's how bad it truly is. Allegedly, according to this headline, apparently a phone is stolen every six minutes in London. But the current mayor of London, Sadiq Khan, simply doesn't care about that. He's more concerned about quality air and, of course, the climate change. Vital things when you're terrified on the streets of London. But back to this. Do you think it should be fully removed? Or, if not, should they still be allowed to vote? As ever, I'd love to know what you think to this particular story. Do like, share and comment. Neil Sean, Downey Street, London.